Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI and we have a beaut of a story today on that topic that proves what I've been saying for three years plus now, almost four years. Technologists do not care about the human impact of what they create. They just build it and release it. Exhibit A of that. AI image generators trained on pictures of child sexual abuse study finds. And this is courtesy of The Guardian. Hidden inside the foundation of popular AI image generators are thousands of images of child sexual abuse. According to new research published just last week, the operators of some of the largest and most used sets of images utilized to train AI shut off access to them in response to the study. The Stanford Internet Observatory found more than 3,200 images of suspected child sexual abuse in the giant AI database LAION, Leon, an index of online images and captions that's been used to train leading AI gem image makers such as Stable Diffusion. More than a thousand of the suspected images were confirmed as child sex abuse material. The response was immediate. Lyon said it was temporarily removing its data sets from being available. Lyon, which stands for Large Scale Artificial Intelligence Open Network, said in a statement it has zero tolerance policy for illegal content. While the images account for just a fraction of Lyon's index of about 5.8 billion images, the Stanford group says it is probably influencing the ability of AI tools to generate harmful outputs. Those same images have made it easier for AI systems to produce realistic and explicit imagery of fake children, as well as transform social media photos fully clothed real teens into nudes, much to the alarm of schools and law enforcement around the world. Trying to clean up the data retroactively is difficult, so the Stanford Internet Observatory is calling for more drastic measures. One is for anyone who has built training sets based on Lion 5B to delete them or work with intermediaries to clean the material. Another is to, in effect, make an older version of stable diffusion disappear from all but the darkest corners of the Internet, said the Stanford Internet Observatory's chief technologist, David Thiel. It's not an easy problem to fix. It traces back to many generative AI projects being effectively rushed to market and made widely accessible because the field is so competitive. Point proven at the beginning of the video. Taking an entire internet-wide scrape and making that data set to train models is something that should never have happened. It should have been confined to a research operation, if anything. A prominent Lion user that helped shape the data set's development is London-based startup Stability AI, maker of the Stable Diffusion text-to-image model. New versions of Stable Diffusion have made it much harder to create harmful content. That's why they said get rid of the older versions from the internet. Said the director of tech for the Canadian Center for Child Protection, we can't take it back. That model is in the hands of many people on their local machine. Stability AI on Wednesday said it only hosts filtered versions of stable diffusion now. Those filters remove unsafe content from reaching the models, the company said in a prepared statement. By removing that content before it ever reaches the model, we can help to prevent the model from generating unsafe content. Lyon said this week it developed rigorous filters to detect and remove illegal content before releasing future data sets. Much of Lyon's data comes from another source called Common Crawl, a repository of data constantly trawled from the open internet. This is a massive internet scraper, as they say. OpenAI, maker of Dolly and ChatGPT, said it did not use Lyon and had fine-tuned its models to refuse requests for sexual content involving minors. Google built its text-to-image Imogen model based on a Lion data set, but decided against making it public in 2022. After an audit of the database, 
uncovered a wide range of inappropriate content, including pornography, racist slurs, and harmful social stereotypes. Lyon was the brainchild of a German researcher and teacher, Christoph Schumann, who wanted to ensure that the future of AI development isn't controlled by a handful of powerful companies. So a few comments here. One is that the motivation for creating Lyon was good and pure. However, the execution was faulty. That's clear. The second thing is not everyone has used this database, thank God. <laughs> but the third thing is point proven about rushing technology out without considering the human impact or building the safeguards before releasing it, not after. So now they're in cleanup mode, trying to fix everything after, but the horse is out of the barn door, as they say. So this is why regulation is absolutely essential. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share. That's the best way to support this channel at the moment. However, please support us on Patreon. Otherwise, other than the annual TED AI event, I can't do any other events. So please help me help you by bringing you cutting edge info from conferences all over the place. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.